Hello and welcome to something a bit different. This isn't Battlefield 1, this is Titanfall 2. Now this video may well be a bit rambling because I didn't sleep well at all last night. I got about six hours of very interrupted sleep basically because I was feeling a bit achy and a bit uncomfortable and once you start doing that all your mind concentrates on is feeling a bit achy and uncomfortable and you can't get to sleep. But what it did give me an opportunity to do is think a lot about what I was going to do with the channel. Basically my mind just wouldn't switch off so I didn't get any sleep but I did come up with an idea for the channel. And it's partly inspired by Titanfall 2. So at the end of October Matt Everett who's the community manager for Titanfall 2 actually sent me a code for the deluxe edition. But I forgot all about it because that was the same time that I was having CT scans and waiting for results. And my mind really wasn't on much at all other than that. Uh, when they did the free weekend, I remembered, hang on, I have a code for Titanfall 2. So I installed it and I've played a few rounds. Now what you're seeing on screen is the very first round that I ever played of Titanfall 2 on the PC did play a couple of rounds at EGX on the console but was bloody awful on it because I don't do consoles. But this was actually quite a lot of fun. Now in this round I do run around a lot and don't really seem to accomplish much. And you're certainly not going to see any wall running or sliding round corners. You are going to see a lot of mistaken grenade throws because grenades are on cue and I'm used to pressing that for spotting. I've played Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 for the last five years and pretty much those have been my primary shooters. Did play a bit of Titanfall but not an awful lot. And it got me thinking, can I adapt to playing Titanfall 2? A game which is a lot faster paced with a lot different skill set and something that I'm really not very good at. You know, I'm old, my reactions are slow, and I'm partially sighted. This is the kind of game that I really don't get along with. And I'm never going to be good at Titanfall 2 for those reasons, but I was wondering, can I become competent at Titanfall 2? Can I get to the point where I'm not a detriment to the team? It's one of the reasons I tend not to play games that have got a small team base, because if you're bad at the game, then you can really screw over the entire team. And people do tend to get salty and there's often quite a bit of aggro in the chat. It's one of the reasons why I never got into MOBAs because I tried Dota 2 and it was just the most toxic environment I'd ever been in. But I should be pretty decent at the basics of Titanfall 2. It's a first person shooter, it's got guns and you shoot people. I do that a lot. But can I get my head around the movement system? and the different weapons and the classes and the factions. There seems to be so much stuff in Titanfall 2 that I just don't understand. I have no idea how I've got that scoreboard on the screen. I didn't have it at the start, it appears for quite a lot of the round and then it disappears before the end. I've obviously pressed something to get it up there but I have no idea what. And there's things appearing on the screen like amped weapon charges no idea what that is but I got it and I pressed it and I still don't know what it did. Uh, Titans I don't know what half the abilities do it'll come up and say do you want to use your electric smoke screen and I have no idea what that does. So it seems to even get a basic understanding of Titanfall 2. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work and a lot of watching videos and asking people questions just to get some level of basic competency. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get at least reasonable at Titanfall 2 and understand what the game is all about. Now I'm still going to be doing Battlefield 1 videos and probably Battlefield 4 videos as well. I might go back and do some of those. What I'm thinking is giving maybe one evening a week to Titanfall 2 for a while. Seeing if I can get into this wall running, corner sliding, jet hacking, shooting with hit scan kind of game that I have really avoided so far. It's probably going to be a steep learning curve and there's probably going to be more questions in the videos than answers. I'm assuming that a few of you out there have played Titanfall and are playing Titanfall 2 
and can probably answer the questions that I've got. So it's probably going to be a combined learning experience. You're going to learn just how bad I can be a different kind of shooter and hopefully I'm going to learn more about Titanfall 2. Now I have watched a few videos on the game but mainly there seems to be things like gun balance and what's the best gun but not really how do you play Titanfall 2 and a lot of the instruction videos are actually from the beta rather than from the launch game. But one thing I have gathered is that if you want to understand the fundamentals of Titanfall 2 then playing the single player is probably the best way to start. Rather than jumping straight into the multiplayer, the single player is going to teach you about the guns and the movement system and the titans. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do the Titanfall 2 single player. I'm going to record it and I'll put it up. Apparently it's about five hours long, so I'll stick it up in ten half hour chunks. So these aren't going to be instruction videos, I'm not going to try and tell you how to play Titanfall 2, but what they're going to be is watching me trying to learn Titanfall 2 and seeing if I can get any good at it. If the format kind of works then I'm probably going to do the same for other games as well. So Overwatch is something that is out there that I haven't played and should probably try playing. And there are a few old games that I should probably give a second chance to. CSGO and Team Fortress 2 are probably games that I should try out. You know, they're pretty fundamental when it comes to shooters, but I really just brushed over them. The problem I've got, of course, is going back to those games, is that now the community is very advanced. Pretty much everybody who plays CSGO or Team Fortress 2 has been playing it for years. And I'm not sure what the kind of reaction is going to be to somebody who doesn't understand the games coming along and trying them out for the first time. Hopefully their matchmaking system is good enough that it will lump all those poor newbies together rather than throwing me into games with seasoned pros. But those are kind of vague plans for the future. If the format works with Titanfall 2 then I'll probably go off and try some other games as well. So initially it's going to be the single player and I'll kind of bang those videos out. If you want to watch them then fine. And then at the end of the single player I'll kind of do a summary video which goes through all the kind of stuff I've learnt and is the single player actually a good tutorial for how the game actually works and what can you carry forward into the multiplayer. Because let's face it, these days we get very little instruction as to how to play multiplayers. And the single players often have no resemblance to the multiplayer game either. Battlefield 1, the tanking is different to the multiplayer and the flying is different to the multiplayer. But apparently in Titanfall 2 the mechanics in the single player are exactly the same as the mechanics in the multiplayer. But we'll have to wait and see. After the single player there will be one video a week which is basically going to round up my experiences with Titanfall 2 that week. What I've learnt, what I'm struggling with, a kind of diary of my progress through Titanfall 2. It's probably going to be a mixture of live commentary and voiceover. But I'm not really sure on that because it's kind of going to be experimental. If I can get coherent live commentary that gets my points across then I'll use that. If not then maybe I'll add some voiceover to illustrate points or maybe I'll just do the whole thing in voiceover over gameplay like this is. But like I say this is an idea inspired by a few rounds of Titanfall 2 and a night with not enough sleep. So the format may die a death. It's not going to replace the usual Battlefield content. It's basically just going to be something new and something a bit different because Battlefield 1 doesn't have the content to make the style of videos that I used to do. So I'm going to have to try something else. I'm probably going to restart Battlefield Basics as well which is my series playing Battlefield 4 from the beginning again. I did say I was going to restart that a while ago but never actually got round to it for various reasons. And again that should probably just take one evening a week. Now 
I'm going to change the format slightly. Previously, I'd basically show an entire round playing a single class, and I would do live commentary over the top. What I'm going to do this time is still play a class, but I'll play a class for an entire evening, do the live commentary, and then edit all those rounds together into one video. So you get one Battlefield Basics video a week, but the progression is going to be faster than it was previously. So that's basically the plan. We're going to have one Titanfall 2 video a week, one Battlefield 4 video a week, and we're still going to carry on with the Battlefield 1 videos, looking at the content and the guns and the weapons, and maybe just some live gameplay. Well, not live, but live commentary over gameplay that's been recorded, if that makes any sense. Well, it probably makes more sense than this end of round screen does to me at the moment. Although it seems I really want that stim unlock. Anyway, thanks for watching.